Hi students, good morning to all. So far uh, what we have seen is uh, the unit 1 we have seen how to find out uh, eigenvalues and eigenvectors. So you know uh, what is eigenvalue and what is eigenvector in the first unit itself. So you know how to calculate the problem, how to calculate the eigenvalues and eigenvectors uh, for a given matrix. And uh, next chapter, second unit uh, we have uh, move to diagonalization of a matrix and uh, Cayley Hamilton theorem and uh, what is the uses of Cayley Hamilton theorem uh, that all we have discussed in our class okay and uh, eigenvalues I uh, Cayley Hamilton theorem so uh, I Cayley Hamilton theorem is mainly used in finding the inverse of the matrix and uh, integral powers of the matrix okay and uh, today what we are going to see is uh, uh, one more case study on uh, Tahoma bridge collapse. So have you ever uh, heard about the word uh, Tahoma bridge? Have you ever seen a uh, Tahoma bridge collapse uh, uh, in Google or uh, video uh, somewhere else? So just uh, we are going to uh, So what is the uh, uh, Connection between our studies and Tahoma bridge that is the main thing that we are going to discuss today Okay, so Tahoma bridge collapse. So just I'm uh, on to the next slide uh, have you ever seen the video of the collapse of the Tacoma on Arrow Bridge? So Tacoma Bridge is situated in uh, United States, uh, uh, Washington. Uh, it was uh, built in the year 1940. Okay. Uh, from the beginning, what they have believed that a uh, bridge uh, would form a small base. So uh, they have constructed the bridge in such a way that uh, uh, when you are traveling on the bridge, it will uh, it will form a yeah? Uh, form your yeah, waves like uh, motion when you are traveling along that bridge so just to think of it okay so like the surface of the body of the water so uh, you may see uh, uh, water how it moves like a waves in a similar manner uh, the bridge is uh, uh, constructed in that manner okay the accidental behavior of the bridge brought many people who wanted to drive over this uh, moving bridge so first uh, initially they excited to uh move uh, right along that bridge so this is what they have believed and after that uh, what happened is uh, most of the people what they thought that bridge was safe despite the moment so once if a uh, strong wind uh, flows means uh, it will go like a uh, waves okay however after four months later so once after constructing uh, from the day four months later the oscillation oscillation of the waves becomes uh, bigger Okay, at one point one edge of the road was 28 feet higher than the other bridge so bridge will be look like this okay so normally the bridge will be look like this once uh, after the wind blows normally at a 40 kilometer per hour if the wind blows means uh, so one of the edge uh, is uh, 28 feet higher than the other bridge. so just the thing about it. and uh, finally the bridge crashed into the water so it's a uh, 38 meter above from the uh, bridge so it's collapsed in the and uh, finally crashed and uh, due to the strong wind blow so 40 km per hour wind blows uh, due to that it blitz and it was uh, photographed and uh, we, it's videographed by that uh, person who constructed that bridge itself that is the main thing and uh, just uh, i will show the video for your okay uh, video for your explanation okay. just uh, see this uh, tagoma bridge collapse for your and it's uh, available in uh, Google itself. So this is a uh, Tahoma bridge, and uh, this is uh, the first day of the bridge, and just to look like uh, the person who are traveling that bridge. So just to see how it's uh, <laughs> how it's um, uh, moving like uh, waves. Uh, okay, this is the bridge. This is the original bridge. It was constructed in uh, 1940. Okay, so so while the strong wind blows, uh, everything will be like look like this and uh, people in that state are, are very excited to travel in that so this is the person who constructed the bridge on the day of the collapse he shoot at the video so this is his car okay so this is the main thing of the bridge okay so what is the reason that is the thing we have to look into it okay so finally it got collapsed once after uh, a wind blows of 40 km per hour uh, from the one side okay this is the bridge and you can uh, uh, find this um, in a video freely in uh, google available it's available okay and you can be able to know came to know about the 
history of uh, Tahoma Bridge and so on. So this is the construction. So what is the reason? One explanation of the crash was is that the oscillation of the bridge were caused by the frequency of the wind being too close to the natural frequency of the bridge. This is the main thing what they have observed. The natural frequency, what is the natural frequency? Natural frequency of the bridge is the eigenvalue, what we have studied, eigenvalue of the smallest magnitude of the system that models the bridge. So, this is why eigenvalues are very important to engineers uh, when they analyze the structure. So, eigenvalue analysis is most important in constructing the bridges itself. Okay. So, in architecture, we are using eigenvalue analysis and uh, we will see uh, uh, once after uh, seeing this uh, Tahoma bridge, we will see how uh, eigenvalues are useful in constructing uh, uh, in architecture. That is the main thing we are going to see. Okay. So, this is the main reason. So, once if uh, the bridge is uh, 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 constructed in such a way that so it, it cannot be it cannot get collapsed. So, after the collapsed uh, bridge, uh, they have reconstructed the bridge and uh, by analyzing all those things, eigenvalues and eigenvectors, uh, they have reconstructed the bridge and uh, uh, the bridge is opened uh, uh, two decades uh, before itself. Okay. And uh, one more, another bridge is parallel to the bridge uh, is also constructed in the year 2007. Okay, these are all the history of this bridge. Uh, mm, you can go through in Google itself. So this is the uh, one main important thing is eigenvalues. Of how eigenvalues are important in our life. That is the most important. Okay. Okay. Next, uh, another important thing is in car design. Okay, so this is the extra information I am giving to you. Uh, car designers analyze eigenvalues in order to damp out the noise so that the occupant have it quiet. So, uh, most of the cars uh, in your uh, home, if you are having car means uh, definitely a car must have a stereo system. Uh, so, this is the basic uh, requirement uh, everyone expect uh, uh, while buying a car. Okay. So, eigenvalue analysis is also used in the design of car stereo system uh, so that the sounds are direct correctly for the listener pleasure of the passenger and driver once you are traveling the car means uh, uh, once if you are having a stereo system means you will have a quiet ride uh, pleasant ride if you need pleasant ride and quiet uh, things means uh, you will have a uh, music uh, which will pause into the ear uh, smoothly and it also able to hear through your ear okay so this is the main thing uh, when you see a car that vibrates uh, means uh, once if you are traveling and if you are uh, able to feel the vibration inside in your car due to the uh, while uh, playing the uh, uh, video audio system and uh, it's because of loud booming music think of eigenvalues once if you are traveling through the eigenvalues uh, if you are uh, able to find out the vibration in your car means uh, this is due to eigenvalue okay eigenvalue analysis can indicate what needs to be changed to reduce the vibration of the car due to the music okay so once if you are uh, uh, passing through a uh, road and if you are uh, uh, most of the cars uh, you may get the sounds uh, which comes out of the car okay so that is a uh, booster due to this uh, booster and you get a uh, uh, too much of uh, thing. so uh, once if they uh, that type of car pass on means uh, just to think of the eigenvalues and eigenvectors this is the way we are thinking okay another one is it is used in oil companies frequently eigenvalues to explore land for oil so where we can get oil oil dirt and other substances all give rise to linear which have different eigenvalues so eigenvalue analysis can give you a good indication of where oil reserves are located so in order to find the oil reserves eigenvalue analysis is important okay so that also we, uh, we are identifying the waves are changed as they pass through the different substances inside the ground the analysis of these waves directs the oil companies to possibly drilling sites where I can drill the um, machine so that I can get the oil. Okay, that's it. Another one is architecture. What I told uh, this one. Uh, some of the more just to, uh, see this uh, and designing. Okay, so how they constructed. So this type of uh, construction is possible only through by. Uh, eigen ana eigenvalue analysis and eigenvectors. Some of the world most unusual architecture make use of a quadric surfaces. For instance, uh, this is a cathedral, Metropolitana Noza, uh, a cathedral located in Brasilia. In Brazil, is in the shape of hyperbola. This is the shape of hyperbola of one sheet. It was designed by uh, Patricia Price, winning architect Oscar Niemeyer, and dedicated in 1970. The 16 identical curved steel columns. Uh, making 90 tons each. So, this is the uh, identical columns. 
each one weights 90 tons are intended to represent two hands reaching up to the sky piecing together between the columns in a 10 meter wide and 30 meter high triangular gaps just to see these are all the triangular gaps formed by the columns is creamy transparent stained glass which allows light inside for every nearly the entire uh, entire height of the column okay so every uh, things is uh, designed in such a way that uh, each thing uh, will uh, give a triangular space okay just to think about it uh, just to have the uh, light passing through that side. so this is the main thing of uh, eigenvalue analysis and eigenvalue. Okay. So, what we have seen is uh, we have seen uh, where the eigenvalues and eigenvalues are applied. That is the main thing we have seen in this uh, uh, video. Okay. So, hope you understand and hope you feel good uh, learning uh, eigenvalues and eigenvectors. And uh, um, we will see with uh, some of the most interesting videos and uh, case studies uh, for the rest of the videos. Okay. Thank you. Bye.